I am currently sitting in the waiting room. I've already checked in for surgery. Um, I am so nervous and so scared. Uh, I thought, so we had some trouble parking and I thought that that had taken my mind off of it permanently. So that way I'd be a little bit more relaxed at this point. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, as soon as I walked into the hospital after we were parked, all the nerves and all the butterflies just came rushing right back. And now that I'm sitting here and I'm supposed to be called within the next five minutes to go into pre-surgery and get my pre-anesthesia, I'm, I'm just nervous and terrified. So wish me luck and I will, guide, I will keep you guys updated. I have a couple of people who are told to videotape me through all of my silliness, so that way you guys will get kind of the real, real feel of what how this was for me. So, thanks and have a great morning. Surgery went really well. I went in on time at 8 a.m. Um, I was supposed to get out somewhere between noon and one. And I actually got out about 10.30. Um, I think they gave me an excessive amount of, of um, anesthesia because I slept until 5. Um, when I woke up, they came in, they cleaned, you know, they cleaned me up, changed my bed sheets, and then I had to get up and walk, um, walk around the floor. So I did that. Uh, I was able to go to the bathroom. Um, a couple of things that I didn't know about. Uh, one thing is actually kind of cool. So on my legs they have something that helps to keep the circulation going. So that massages both of my legs, not simultaneously, kind of um, in a rotation back and forward, almost non-stop, in order to make sure that my circulation doesn't stop. Um, I also have a cleaning tube coming out of me here that they have to come in and change every once in a while. Well, not change the tube, but, but clear it out. Um, the only complication I seem to have had was actually finding my veins. Uh, they insisted on going into my hands, so like this one um, started leaking, so they had to change it, and then this one they put in an abnormal spot, so it hurts every time I move, uh, but now that I'm awake and out of surgery, they're probably going to move that um, to a normal place in my arm. Other than that, um, nothing really has changed. Um, oh, one thing they definitely don't tell you in any of the research is how unbelievably angry your organs are going to be at you when you get out of surgery. Because my entire insides are um, cramping almost nonstop. I'm on a lot of pain medication because they're trying to heal and they're mad so they're doing this inside and pulling and pushing on staples and it's just, it's so painful. Um, other than that, there's nothing else really going on. So I'll keep you guys up to date, probably as a day by day thing so that way we, you can follow along with me as promised, okay? Bye.